Hi, I'm Joshua Hardesty with Bose Professional, and we're excited to introduce the new QSIS PowerShare X Amplifier plugin for monitoring and controlling PowerShare X amplifiers in the QSIS ecosystem. Let's go to QSIS Designer to take a look at the plugin and its features. But first, the plugin can be downloaded at BoseProfessional.com, and it's compatible with QSIS Designer 9.8 or later. To install the plugin, unzip its folder, double click the plugin, and click Yes at the prompt. Next, in QSIS Designer, navigate to Plugins, User, and Bose Professional and drag and drop PowerShare X amplifiers onto the schematic. For demonstration purposes, I will connect to the amplifier using the emulate mode because I do not currently have a QSIS core. Assuming you do have a core, save to the core and run to load the design and connect. Next, I will double click the amplifier and while on the Settings tab, I will enter the IP address. If you do not know the amplifier's IP address, it can be located in Control Space Designer. When the communicating and initialized LEDs are on, we are then connected to the amplifier and the plugin status will read OK. If they do not turn on, then that means there is an API issue and you will have issues controlling the amplifier. Check your amplifier's firmware in Control Space Designer and verify your connections. Once connected, you can view and adjust settings directly. There are five tabs. Each tab includes a general section where you can place the amplifier into standby, wink the amplifier so that you may locate it in an equipment rack, and view the mains voltage. It also includes fault and standby indicators. Here in the settings tab, you can see device info, serial number, and firmware. Next, let's check out the sources and matrix tab. This tab corresponds to the backup strategy and matrix panels in Control Space Designer. There are four sources that can be routed to any of the four outputs using the matrix. Each source includes a label and a backup strategy. The backup strategy can be set to signal presence, force, or pilot tone. The signal LED lights up if a signal is present, and the blue LED shows the active priority. You can set the four priorities from the QSIS plugin. However, to change settings like signal threshold or pilot tone frequency, you must use Control Space Designer. A separate video for the backup strategy can be viewed at BoseProfessional.com. This is the matrix section, and currently sources 1 through 4 are being routed to outputs 1 through 4, respectively. When a pair of outputs are bridged, the second output will be grayed out. Sources can be muted with these buttons, and matrix cross points can be turned off and on using these buttons. Each cross point also has an attenuation control. Please note on this tab, the amplifier's Dante subscriptions can also be viewed. The Outputs tab is related to the Delay and Output panels in Control Space Designer. Delay time, output gain attenuation, mute, and phase can all be controlled here. Output channel and bridge labels can be entered here. Please note these labels do not carry over to Control Space Designer. Fault, clip, limiter, and bridged LEDs are present on this tab. If a fault is detected, you can move to the Output Monitoring or Amplifier Faults tabs to inquire about the issue. The Output Monitoring tab closely resembles the Amplifier's Alarm Fault Panel in Control Space Designer. Here you'll find each output includes a Short Circuit Fault LED in addition to its own Pilot Tone Generator. The Pilot Tone Generator may be used with a channel's Pilot Tone Voltage or Pilot Tone Load Alarms. A Nominal Impedance Alarm is also available for use with any type of signal. For more information on PowerShare X Alarms, please view our dedicated tutorial, PowerShare X Alarm Fault Panel. And finally, under the Alarm Faults tab, you'll find PSU or Critical and Thermal Fault LEDs. Download the QSIS PowerShare X plugin today to use Bose Professional PowerShare X amplifiers in your next QSIS installation. For more helpful PowerShare X tutorials, please visit us at BoseProfessional.com and thanks for watching.